In health news today, a local organization wants to make sure you're up to par on your gluten-free diet. This weekend, Sarasota's Community Events will be holding its first ever Gluten-Free and Healthy Lifestyles Expo. Attendees can sample free foods, attend cooking demos, all gluten-free, of course. Joining us today to tell us more about it is event coordinator Angela Reinhardt from Community Events. Angela, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure. Well, this is such a big thing now these days. Uh, People are so much more aware of what they're eating, and we're seeing restaurants offering gluten-free alternatives, healthier ingredients as well. Is that what you're seeing too? Is this really trending? Definitely. In recent reports, over 30% of Americans are avoiding gluten for one reason or another. So tell us what attendees are going to find at the, the expo on this Saturday. Attendees will be able to go to presentations. We have a dozen doctors that are going to reach out and offer their information about how to be healthy because there's so much information out there about um, what to eat, what not to eat, but really what can we do to be healthy and not just our diet, but exercise, sleep, everything is so important and there needs to be a balance. So do people who uh, maybe don't have any gluten allergies or pro issues, can they benefit by eating a gluten-free diet as well? Definitely. We're seeing that carbohydrates play a big role, and a lot of these processed foods that contain wheat have a lot of carbohydrates in them. So if you're able to eat healthy, you know, stick to fruits and vegetables, proteins, and let that be the bulk of your diet and stay away from those processed foods, um, you can really benefit. And autoimmune disorders collectively are uh, the number one condition in the United States affecting Americans. And we find that autoimmune diseases, including uh, celiac, uh, Crohn's, and uh, diabetes, you know, these are epidemic problems. And so by making some simple dietary changes, you can have a better health. That's a big reason why to do it. Uh, I would imagine those who have to eat gluten-free foods uh, used to face a much tougher time. Is it easier to, today or do we still have a ways to go in this? In the Sarasota area, I would say we still have a ways to go. I know when I go on vacation, um, you find so many more options, but we do have a doctor that's going to be presenting about safer dining. And so we're inviting even restaurant owners to come out and to hear what she has to say on how to um, deal with those that are trying to avoid different food intolerances. Well, let's give people all the information they need to know. The event happens this Saturday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Sarasota Municipal Auditorium. Tickets are $10 for adults and kids 12 and under can get in free. For more information, you can go online to glutenfreelifestyles.org. Angela, thank you so much for being with us today, and best of luck with the event on Thank Saturday. Thank you, Scott. Okay.